It's Bourbonite. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, we are starting out on our journey of 64 bourbons under $30. This is kind of a... That's a lot of bourbon, Chad. It's kind of a redo. It's kind of a restart. Well, a re yes, back to our roots, if you you could say that, I guess. Back to where it all began. Uh, yes. Just a mere three years ago, we were both <laughs> a little bit younger, and we did uh, 50 bourbons under $25. Yes. But we need to refresh because some of those aren't made anymore. They're not made anymore. There's new ones that have come out. Plus, Price it was hikes. Our, our very first episode. So the lighting wasn't the best. You were looking at the wrong camera. That's true, I was. You were like looking not even at like, a camera. You were just... Hello, over. I'm Sarah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is, uh, we feel, long overdue because we love that episode, but we want people to stop watching it so they can start <laughs> watching this one. Uh, 64 bourbons, all randomly generated into flights of four, plugged it into random.org, hit go, spit out the order, and there it is. So Sarah, what do we have in this flight? Well, Chad, in this flight fight, we have Evan Williams bottled in bond at 100 proof, duh. 1792 small batch at 93.7 proof. Old Bardstown estate bottled at 101 proof. And Old Forester 100 proof. Okay, so, all right. Some some ones that we haven't tried in a while. In a long time. Yeah, And then a, some that we tried time. more recently, I would say like 1792 small batch too. Sure. Just weigh in every now sure. and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't tell you the last time I had Old Bardstown Estate bottled. Right. It has been a while. And it's 101 proof. It's our highest proof one in it here. It is. Will that show through? I don't know, Chad. Will it? Will it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, will it or won't it? It's made by Will It, if you didn't get that joke. <laughs> All right, well, let's joke. just dive in. We're trying the same things at the same time, but we do not know what the order is. So let's go first with bourbon A. Do I detect nutty? I don't know. Let me get out my magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little uh, peanut buttery. Just a little, Actually, but there's also... Ooh, I almost get that signature Will It like a nice licorice <sighs> note. That's, uh, I kind of do. I kind of think it might be. I wasn't so much going for the uh, licorice, but that peanut butter of old and like some of the <laughs> of, Noah's of yesteryear, of, of years days of, of yore. <laughs> yeah. That first bottle of Noah's Mill that we had about three years ago. It that is had reminiscent. This peanut butter. It's got a great smell. It's speaking to me. I Yeah, I get your peanut butter. So. Seven. Oh, wow. Spicy peanut Definitely. butter. Mm hmm. <laughs> The so, tongue, it lights the tongue up, but the peanut butter is there. I'm gonna bet you $5 right now. No, I will not take that bet. You won't take I it? I won't take that bet. I'll well, bet we haven't you. tried any of these others, but. <laughs> will you take it on the second round? Maybe. Oh, I like it, it's, it's got a great, great mouthfeel. I would feel like this is coming across as a 101 proof again, why we, why we think it's the Willet product. I could see that. It's a pretty long finish, and I'm kind of getting a Kentucky hug, yeah. which is surprising. I enjoy, all right. Oh, just a completely different smell there. Yeah, totally different direction. It's um, it's a little musty. It's a little musty. I was thinking like sharp spice, like. Uh, I thought you were about to say sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. Like, I'm not following Chad. No, no. I'm getting musty. And like a like a. Okay, you know how the Midwinter's Night Dram has that all spice kitchen cabinet everything thrown in there type yeah, yeah. of smell. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that just like watered down. Just, just like, like dialed back. Dialed back immensely, but I feel like it's in there. It's underneath. Yeah, I could get a little nutmeg. Yeah. All right. I think this one's got a little more oak. I'm still tasting uh, that. A little? <laughs> a lot more oak than the first one. Uh, yeah. Um, um, less of that peanut buttery. A caramel hard candy. Um, I, I can see them. They're like this, it's like a square caramel. It is a little wrapper you Not put in chew? your mouth. Is that how candy works? Yeah, so Aww. if you didn't know, <laughs> cannot tell you a brand, but but yeah, that barrel. That barrel is really strong. Sp it's speaking up. Whoa! Second taste here. A lot of char. A lot of char. Potentially high proof, but in a different way than A. Yeah, so now I'm like. I'm getting hmm. the after. I'm getting the afterburn on the old, uh, the old tongue. Yeah, for blanket. sure. It's like there's some hidden fruit notes in there, but that char is just so strong that it's hard to pick up anything else. It's almost I like- I like it though. It's almost like a boozy grape. Yeah, but like <laughs> if you, grapes mixed with char, ash, oh, <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. I'm, this one's a head scratcher. I'm not sure about this one. Hmm. Ooh, whoa. That nose is, what is that nose? It, it smells, smells like, like 
awry. I think it smells like wet hay and chlorine. <laughs> wet hay, I, okay, I said awry. You think it's gone awry. It's gone awry. <laughs> Mine was better earlier. I know. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a really high rye rye. Like that. It also kind of smells like an apple pie. Certain type with of wet hay. spice. I, I get I get those rye notes in there. Yeah. yeah, I think that's where I'm getting like the spicy apple pie. Okay, let's see. That is sweet and Oof. something else. Wow. Okay, boozy grapes smell led to a boozy sugar candy. Just, just a, so just a, candy. Just a, uh, it was almost uh, syrupy in texture and like a corn syrup kind of way. And a little artificial. Yeah, just a little bit. Artificial sugar, artificial, you know, sweetened candy. Um, I need a, I need and a, a bitter after fit, f after fish. It's a bitter after fish. It'll get you. I'm owning it. You should. Mm -hmm. Not exceptional mouthfeel. Not exceptional mouthfeel. It's correct. I'm just gonna yeah, go ahead and I'll put that back right there. Put you that just, right where I found it. You just go right back there. All right. Bananas. I bet I know what this is. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. I didn't get bananas in my face. No, but light. But it reminds me of an old forester nose. A, yes, a ripe banana, a mushy ripe banana. Yes. Is all you need to And know. there's other layers in there too. There's some nice caramel, a little bit of maple, maybe some like orange zest. Um, not to get too specific with it, but. <laughs> there's a zest, there's a zest. Yeah, I mean, it's got layers, but the first thing that jumped out. Yeah, you, sometimes you nose too deeply and <laughs> you get it and in you your pay for push it. broom. <laughs> gotta get some in my old push broom. Ned Flanders. <laughs> Idly ho. All right, well, <laughs> time to take a proper drink. I'm sorry, but if that's not Old Forester, then I've been doing this wrong. Then I'll time. eat my hat. <laughs> I don't have a hat. Mm. It tastes like a hundred proofer. It does. It tastes like an Old Forester. It lights you up like a hundred proof. This other one was boozy grapes. This one is boozy bananas. But yeah. It's a banana foster because it's got that sweetness to it too. Right, agreed. So it's like a, a the dessert. The flambe, yeah. yeah uh -huh. mm -hmm. With the sh brown sugar. Which, yeah, which it's is, tasty. Which is a little bit of char that you're getting. Like oh, it's yeah. flambe, it's got some you know, the, uh, chart elements. This Old Forester taste profile has grown on me in recent times. Yep. Um, I Especially with the 100 proof, like I like those brown sugary, you know, like I said, sauteed or flam flambéed fruits, and it's kind of got like a rummy taste. You're gonna to say it. flamboyant. Actually, I really like this, which is not something I've ever said out loud about a hundred <laughs> uh, hundred proof old Forester. Not that I ever hated it. It just right. has never been like jumping out really at me. Really speaking to you. Yeah, and here, well, I, again, I'm speaking like I know what this is, but right. my tongue tells me that this is old Forester hundred proof. <laughs> I could be wrong, and yep. it would be on the screen, and you'd all be laughing at me right now. True. Okay, so that was one time through. We're gonna give our palette a little rest. We're gonna go back the second time through. Things always seem to change up when you go through the second True. time. Um, so as we are returning back to, as I like to say, room temperature, just wanted to tell you guys about our home on the interwebs. It is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can find this t-shirt. It's where you can find some of our glassware. Right now in stock are our Glen Cairns, our, our water glass uh, t-shirts. Um, rocks glasses and so forth so whiskeyambitions.com yes and that is accurate at the time of this filming time of this filming yes you can also <laughs> i don't know where what year you're in and yeah, like, yeah, when, yeah, you're yeah, when you're watching this, this. But... uh you can also become a patreon member it's patreon.com uh get things like exclusive podcasts and and other uh things lots of voting to, yes. to let us know what we can do we like polls patreon.com slash it's bourbon night mm -hmm. uh you can also find us on amazon our amazon influencer pages amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night and cool little things like these tribeca glasses and all the stickies that we put on them <laughs> to do our own blind fly fights are on there so you can you build your own flight fight yep and lastly at it's bourbon night follow us on the social medias all right uh we're gonna give ourselves a little bit longer we'll be back right after this and we're back ready to do it round two bourbon a let's do it here we go <laughs> enough punctuation for you now it's it's more maple syrup it is more maple syrup now <laughs> it's like it's opened up a little bit Oh, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Like, straight up, give me some pancakes. Wow. I think I'm going to retract my former statement. We'll see. We'll see. No, just based off of how the nose has changed. Okay. I don't think this is what I thought it was anymore. <sighs> it is more caramel it this time. It is more time. caramel this caramel time. Caramel and vanilla and that boozy syrup. 
it's that we true. run into sometime. It's good. I it's like it. Be. I'm still really getting that Midwinter's Night Dram turned down to one. But you know what I will say about this one is that I feel like it's got the least uh, intense nose. Yes. Which makes me feel like it might be the lowest proof, which points to the 1792. Yeah. Potentially. But all that char doesn't really. Right. Well, let's see if that's changed in the second round. I think it's backed off on the char some. It has. Some. It has. It's still there. And it's still, it's pretty sweet. It's getting a, like a sweeter note, like that fruit that I was talking about before, I think yeah. is coming through now yeah. more that it's sat and opened up a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, I, I do, I think this is a 1792. Could be. Oh, I love making predictions. <laughs> oh, you all boy. hate it. <laughs> <laughs> that is still a really interesting nose. Now I'm getting the licorice here. Uh. Which makes me think it's the old Bardstown. But does it snows and taste like a 101 proof? It's intense nose. It's hard to say the 101 proof. I'm getting more of the musty notes second time around. Musty. Yeah. But I still am getting licorice and very sweet. Yeah. Still. Let's so. see. Man, I still say hi, rye, rye with this one. Um, it's given a front of the tongue type of heat that I wasn't getting the first time around. Uh, might just be tongue fatigue, but we took a pretty good break. I don't know. But yeah, just high rye rye. I, I think it's like if you could have like a liquid spicy licorice, like a piece of big red gum mixed with some black licorice. If you don't like big red gum. Then, no, we're gonna cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's deep, it's rich, it's... There's just a lot of that sweetness subst going on. Substantial. It's hot like a pot of coffee. I don't know. It's... You don't even drink coffee. What? I know they're hot. That's true. Every time I know this, I'm liking it more. <laughs> syrup, more syrup this time. More syrup. Yeah. More, yeah, brown sugar, just like brown sugar, reduced syrup. fruits mm -hmm. and just delicious. Not as much bananas this time. And a little bit of pecan. Reminds me of that bread I made the other day. It. This one definitely has that like bitter, this. that bitter note on it. I don't know, maybe just a little bit. I'm Almost a, uh, a high cacao chocolate. Cacao. cacao. It always makes me want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part of the show where we. <laughs> well, I'm more mixed up than a milkshake. Well, so that's not abnormal. No. All right, so we're going to now do some A-B testing back and forth. We speed this part up because it's just not interesting. And uh, we'll be back with you guys around results time. See you soon. Sarah, do you know what time it is? Uh, it's kinda late. Oh, it's results time. Yes. Uh, we're gonna go last to first. First place advances on in this tourney. What was your last? My last place was Bourbon Sea. My last place was also Bourbon Sea. So, shall we reveal, same time? Shall. Last place is... Old Bardstown Estate. Wow. I, second time through, knew it. Huh, interesting. I haven't had that in so long, and I think what clicked for me at the end was like, this is so unique, and I haven't had anything that tasted like this in a long time, and I haven't had that in a long time, so I was like, that makes sense. Whereas the other ones, I feel like I've tasted somewhat recently, and right. I'm like, I, have, I don't recall that experience. How funny that we were both so certain at the beginning of this episode Remember that when I, said I would bet on it? was, yeah, I should have taken that bet. Oh, has the Derby taught me nothing? No. Okay, uh, moving on, what is your third place? Okay, so this was by a hair, by a yes. nose. <laughs> Bourbon B was my third place choice. And I had to go back and forth between B and D a lot. Yeah. Trying to figure this out. But I eventually landed with B being my third place. Okay, I also had that back and forth, back and forth back and forth and ultimately i had to i wasn't getting it on the palate i wasn't the deciding factor wasn't there between bourbon b and bourbon d so i went for the finish and i let the finish sit there for bourbon b and bourbon d mm -hmm. and ultimately i decided that i liked the finish a nose better on bourbon b well, there so you that go. means i put bourbon d in third place now okay. if we both reveal that we're gonna know what our first place is which our first place we both put 
Bourbon A. That's right. So we should just go for our first place winner. Let's. Okay, coming in first place and advancing to the next round is... Evan Evan Williams Williams Bottled bottled and Bond. bond. Okay. One, thrilled because... (laughs) It's an Evan Williams product. It's an Evan Williams product. Evan Hill. And the second time through, that's what I thought this was. However, it's a lot nuttier. Like, it almost yeah. reminds me of Jim Beam-esque, yes. of how nutty it was. Yes, agreed. Which was crazy. Okay. Agreed. So we both picked that, um, which is a great value. It is. So what was D? Oh, D. So your... My second place. Second place, third my place. third place. Bourbon D is... Old Forster, Old Forster 100, 100, which we both guessed that. That's right. Which and that makes, makes this my second place, your third place. The 1792 small batch. 1792 small batch. Yeah. That was thrilling. That was thrilling. <laughs> that was actually really exciting. Like we yeah. did the high proof expensive stuff, and I also find that exciting. But for these like scrappy little under 30 bourbons, they're scrappy. They're I scrappy. Everyone's bottle and bond is pretty scrappy. Oh, it's a scrapper. It's a scrapper. Come on. Forget about it. Uh, that surprises me though, because if you asked me to yeah. pick off the shelf, I would probably have said 1792 small batch would win. Well, yeah, I mean, it seems like the bigger bourbon. It seems like the tougher opponent. It does. Uh, but for you, it came in second. A higher price. And it fought hard for it's me it. too. It's it. Yeah. Also, the lowest proof though, we so. should point out in this bracket, may have fared better in a different bracket, but hey, that's why we do it random. Random. Just never know. All right, cool. Well, that'll do it for us. We've already done them plugs, so that's good. Um, This is the first flight of the first 16. I don't think we're going to put them all out. No. We're just going to hit some highlights. Yeah, you're going to get the highlights. The highlights. Yeah, the best stuff. The ones that are really interesting. Yep. Uh, And then we go into the semifinals and then the finals. How exciting. All right. Pretty exciting. Cool. Well, that'll do it. For us, did I go kind of Scottish there? That will do it. You did just, that you will channeled do it. your inner, inner Roy. Roy from Aquavite. That will do it for us, that's mates. A, that's offensive. Oh, and mates is Australian. Then I went so, Australian. Yep. Oh, that man. it's time to quit. I'm just all over the place. You are all over the world. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> okay. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Yeah. 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 Woo. It's good.